Hi, it's Angela. I want to go over key points for your jasmine pose. This pose has a lot of injury risk if it's not done properly. And there are key red flags and things to look for as you're getting into your jasmine yourself or if you are teaching and assisting other students. So a couple things to think about. Your triangle spaces of your, from your wrist, elbow, shoulder, hip, okay? That triangle space and also the triangle space from the bottom, hip, shoulder, elbow, wrist. Those triangles should be equal and stacked. So shoulder over shoulder, uh, you know, body points over body points. So what I'm talking about is that when you start that jasmine position, it should be thumbs up, thumbs down. This triangle space should equal this triangle space and our shoulders should be stacked over top of each other. So we don't want twisted, jacked up shoulders, okay? The push on the bottom is coming from the back and the shoulder pushing into the pole through the arm. So we want that back and shoulder, shoulder rolled back and down, big push there. This one is pulling. That push-pull should be equal so that the shoulders are stacked over top of each other. Again, that triangle space should be equal to this triangle space. That's number one key red flag to look for. You don't want the hips sinking down, so this side waist is also going to be lifting up to help support and take the weight off of the bottom arm. So I like to have people set this up from the beginning, making sure the shoulders are stacked, big push pull, up on the tippy toe, feeling that out. Once that feels good and strong, and those triangles are equal and the shoulders are stacked, this knee, hip, and shoulder should be in a pretty straight line, meaning you're not sinking down and sagging down in that. But once that push pull is there, that side waist is going to help lift the standing leg into position. So big push, pull, stack shoulders, equal triangles, lift. Now I like to keep the leg extended. There certainly are versions where we're here with the hip folded, but either way, this side waist is helping lift up, okay? Because what we don't want, red flag again, is to have that sinking down. It's putting pressure on the knee here. It's putting pressure on the shoulder, elbow, wrist, okay? That ends up being a wrist break, a hip or extended elbow, shoulder up by the ear, all of that kind of stuff. So we want to make sure that when we lift, okay, that the side waist is helping lift up as well as the push. Triangle spaces equal, joints in line. So if you connect the, the dots from the wrist to the elbow to the shoulder, that should be a nice straight line, no jacked up, and then shoulder hip to knee should be in line. And that triangle should equal this triangle. So one should not be bigger or smaller than the other. They should be equal. The side waist should be lifting so that the butt is not sinking down and sagging down, putting pressure on that knee. And the bottom shoulder should never be jacked up by the ear. It should always be pushed down, rolled back and down and again, watching for a wrist break. You want to make sure that the bottom hand is thumbs down. Injury risk if you're not paying attention. If someone grabs this way with that thumbs up, okay? Um, also, you'll see people jump into it, okay? I don't want that. We don't want to be sinking and, and jacking up that wrist. So thumbs down, the push through the shoulder and back, we lift the chest. Use that side waist to lift, okay? Again, triangle spaces should be equal, shoulders stacked. Use that side waist as well to lift and pivot to bring that foot back down. Commonly, injuries happen on exits. So, if we were in a jasmine and people try to exit, they sink, starting to slide down, Elbow gets jacked up, hyperextended, shoulder ends up by the ear, and then they're hanging and 
all of that potential injury happens on the exit. So you use that side waist to help use it to lift up, pivot that foot back to the floor to gently set everything back down. Red flags, triangle spaces, straight lines, thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay, so we're paying attention to our grip and watching for potential injury on the exit. 